Hi neighbors, welcome back to another episode of Cooking with Neighbors. Today on Cooking with Neighbors, I am making ginger snap cookies. Uh, my friend Linda from Create with Linda is uh, having an open collaboration and it's uh, making holiday cookies, Christmas cookies, and uh, yeah, so this is for Linda's collaboration. So anywho, let's get started with these ginger snap cookies. I'm gonna tell you the ingredients as I'm doing this. Alrighty then, three and three quarters of a cup of flour. So I'm gonna just mix these dry ingredients together first. Quarter of a cup of cloves. A quarter of a cup, oh my gosh, don't do a quarter of a cup. Quarter of a teaspoon, people. Get with it, Jerry. Sift that in there, put the whiskey in there. Uh, two teaspoons of ginger powder. This and all through the flour. One and a half teaspoons of cinnamon. Baking soda. One and a half teaspoons of baking soda. So I put a little bit more cinnamon in than the recipe calls for, just because I like it. But uh, yeah, you can do this with the. Uh, half a teaspoon to a teaspoon of cinnamon. Okay, so I'm gonna set that aside. Now, for the wet ingredients, I'm gonna start with, okay. Woo! Okay, so in a bowl, you can use a, a mixer, stand mixer, you can use elbow grease with a whisk. Whatever you want to do this. All right. So, I have three quarters of a cup of uh, softened butter, two cups of sugar. I didn't know what cookies to make. I have so many that I like. So I want ginger snaps. I'm going to clean this up. yourself two large eggs and beat them really well so that the whites and the yolks are really incorporated really well. So we're going to add two beaten eggs. This is a half a cup of molasses. And this is two tablespoons of white vinegar. Wow, that's nice and creamy. I'm just gonna scrape down the sides. I'm going to change my attachment because I don't want this to get all collagulated with my flour. My oven is preheated to 350. Okie dokie. Now I'm gonna sift, now I'm going to sift in uh, my dry ingredients. my hands so I can feel the dough. I've got to wash them again. Okay, I'm going to up. I gotta put my hair up one sec. Hang on. Hi to you. My 
for this. We're going to make three quarters of an inch of a ball, okay? I have a parchment lined baking sheet where you can grease up a baking sheet. I hope everyone is having a good time. What's your favorite cookie, peeps? What's your favorite cookie, neighbors? That you like to make for the holidays or like to eat? Okay, so. So I'm going to put these in for like 10 to 12 minutes, depending on your oven. And uh, I'm going to continue with the rest of them. I'll take you back when they're out. When they're out and ready, so we will be eating. I need you neighbors to see this. Oh, she moved. She was staring in the window of the, of the stove for like the last five, six minutes just staring at the window. I guess she likes to smell the ginger snow cookies. Okay, neighbors, taking out the last, last batch. And now 56 cookies. Cancel one. We'll get this nice little crackly look on top. I'll bring you down. I gotta show you. They'll get more of a snap to them as they cool off. I believe the vinegar is what helps with that. All right, neighbors, happy holidays to you. Thank you for watching the this uh, video today. I appreciate all of you. Peace, love, God bless. If you're celebrating Christmas or Hanukkah or whatever your celebration is or or is not I wish you all well peace be with you